Vice Golf. Have you heard of them? They are like everywhere now. They are making a huge social media splash. Uh, last couple years, fairly new company. They are trying to sell premium golf balls at a fair price. That's kind of their mission statement. But are their balls really any good? And we have a cool video today where we are gonna put Vice Golf, all five of their main models, up against the big dog Titleist in their top three models. And we will see in the simulator who comes out on top with unbiased data. We're gonna hit drivers, we're gonna hit irons, we're gonna hit wedges, we're gonna look at all of the data, dissect it, and let's see how good these balls from Vice really are against the number one ball in golf. We're gonna jump in the simulator and put them up against each other. Grudge match, Vice versus Titleist. Let's go. Hey everybody, Brian Z, PGA Professional for Golf Intel, and today is such a cool video. I've been really excited to get this one done, and uh, we're putting Vice golf balls up against Titleist, and we're gonna do it completely unbiased with complete launch monitor data. We're gonna hit a series of different shots, and I'm trying to keep this as absolutely unbiased as I can because I don't care who wins. What we're going to do, we have five different Vice golf balls, the Pro, the Pro Soft, the Pro Plus, the Drive White, and the Tour White. And then we're gonna put that up against the Pro V1, the Pro V1X, and the Titleist AVX. So what we're gonna do is we're going to hit a series, and I'm gonna try and mix as match as much as I can from different clubs and the different balls and bouncing back and forth because I've only got so much stamina in my back. We're gonna do uh, three good shots with each ball with a driver, three good shots with each ball with a seven iron, and three good shots with each ball with a wedge. And we're gonna be looking at things like overall carry distance, launch angles, spin rates. We're just gonna compile all of that data, but this will give you an idea, no matter your level of play, on where these golf balls actually stand. Because this company, Vice, has made a lot of splash about selling premium golf balls at a fair price. You know, their most premium at full retail, I think is $35.99 or $34.99. Right now it's on sale for, I don't know, $32 or $31, something like that. That's their premium ball, and you can get them as low as about $20 a dozen, doing all kinds of fancy colors and speckles on their balls and really kind of an edgy kind of company. But I wanted to know, what is the data on these golf balls? Are they any good. The Vice Company really kind of started this because they want people to be playing good golf balls all the time. Stop playing with a golf ball with a, a cart path mark on it or a scuff mark on it or whatever. So if you're paying $20, $25, $30 a dozen at the most, you can keep more fresh and better golf balls in your bag play better golf on a more consistent basis instead of fishing balls out of ponds and stuff like that. So hopefully that's not you. I know this audience is better than that. Come on, you're better than that. So I'm just gonna hit a few shots here and I want three from everything. So I got about 100 balls I need to hit here, give or take, and uh, we're gonna see what happens. We'll keep one of these in the box. I'm, gonna, I'm pulling these out randomly. So we're gonna start with this one. And again, I'm gonna do my best effort to just randomize it, hit some irons, hit some drivers, then kind of go back and forth so that I don't get tired and it affects the data. So here we go. Without further ado, that felt really, really soft. I thought that was gonna be hard as a rock. I pushed that one a little bit, but that feels unbelievably soft. Almost right on the other one. And again, we're gonna go back and forth so you don't have to watch me hit all these golf balls. We'll see you in a second with the data. Okay, so I'm all done hitting the wedge shots. I got had a couple of bad ones in there that I kind of took out of the mix, but uh, just kind of eyeballing a little bit in the bottom left of the screen on, on uh, carry and overall distance. Might be something surprising in this data here when we get to the end. So uh, we're gonna move on to the seven iron now. I mean, normally was gonna do a six, but I hit more sevens than I do sixes, that's for sure. So we're gonna go see what the mid irons look like with a seven iron. Then we're gonna move on to a driver and we're gonna put it all together, stay tuned. Okay, so we're all done hitting the seven irons. We're gonna take a little break, let me recoup a little bit, maybe get something to eat, then we're gonna come back and do all the drivers, and we'll see what we get. Stay tuned. Okay, we're in the home stretch. It's time for the drivers. Gonna sum up the rest of my energy here, then we're gonna look at the data, 
Be right back. Hey, we're back. Whew, man, that was a lot of golf shots in a row. I'm not used to hitting that many balls in a row, but I did get through it. Kind of petered out at the end a little bit with the driver, so I had to delete some, some more bad swings than when I got started. But I think we have some really, really good data here. So we're gonna jump into it. So what I've done, and incidentally, we were using in uh, my golf simulator here, we have the Unicore IXO launch monitor. So it's up in the ceiling reads club and ball, mostly uh, just ball today, but very accurate from what I've seen and all the experience that I've got with a great company really doing a lot with it. So we have really good ability to read the golf ball. It's not guessing on spin rate or calculating like some other systems do, it's actually reading it. So the data here is good. So I'm gonna jump into the three different reports. And what we're gonna see is we're gonna look at the wedge, then we're gonna look at the seven iron, then we're gonna look at the drivers and see what we come up with. So. This is kind of cool. So let me get myself out of the way. So this is our uh, 54 degree wedge. So overall, not a huge difference. As you can see, here's the grouping. So fairly consistent, but what we want to look at in this data is carry distance. So carry distance is really going to be about the total distance. So as you can see, it's got them sorted already from distance high to low as we go down the screen. And you can see all three of the top are vice golf balls. Now, when you're looking at this, you have to remember, are you trying to hit your wedges as far as you can? No, you're looking for distance control above and beyond anything else. Direction means way less with wedges than if you uh, are able to control your distance on a very, very regular basis. So you can see that the Pro V and the Pro V X definitely higher spin rates, which is one of the reasons they go a little bit shorter because they're spinning a little bit more. So I would say that the Pro V and the Pro VX here are gonna win for me because of that backspin rate. The Pro V is flying a little bit lower and spinning a little bit more. So I would get, I'm gonna give the nod to both the Pro V and the X because those are up in the two, mid to 10,000 RPM spin rates and everything else is around 9,000. So I'm gonna give the nod on the wedges to the Pro V because I don't need to hit them um, any further. It doesn't matter to me. I want accuracy and spin. This is the seven iron summary screen. So we've got a carry distance. Carry is usually about my overall uh, distance, maybe a, you know one hop, maybe an extra yard or two. Uh, you know These numbers would obviously change. So the top four are vice golf balls, 77.7.1, 75.9, 75.8. Then we see the Titleist Pro V1 at 174. So we've got a three yard difference in carry on the vice pro versus the Pro V1. Now let's look at the spin rates again. Back spin rate, Pro V1, I'm looking at 52.59, and we have backspin rates all under 5,000 for the Vice golf balls. Very interesting. The Pro Plus, a little bit higher spin and a little bit shorter carry. These Vices are definitely flying higher, a little bit higher than the Pro V, not too much. Vice Pro Soft flying low. So again, wanting not be, you know, being that I don't spin it too much, but for this seven iron, again, I would probably give the nod to the Pro V1 because of that spin rate right here at 52.59 and the Pro VX coming in at 5,500, a lot of spin there. I'm gonna go into a vice golf ball. And if I were to pick one of the vice golf balls here, I would probably want this Vice Pro might be the best one at 177.7 carry, three yards more carry than the Pro V. And we're looking at 49.28 for spin uh, and it's flying just a hair higher, which that's okay by me. So for a winner, what do we see? What would I pick here? I would probably test this a little bit further, you know, uh, and that was my plan today was to see which ones are coming out on top and then put the top two that I would select and it looks like it's gonna be a Pro V versus some something else. I'd say with the seven iron, I, I'd almost put it at a tie with the Pro V and the Vice Pro because those RPMs aren't radically different. It is a little bit different, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Pro V and Vice Pro tie on the seven iron. Okay, let's go to the driver. Titleist Pro V1 out carried all the other golf balls. And now I was getting some club head speed. So again, my club head speed anywhere from 110 to 117 didn't take on the Pro V1, not sure why. 
ball speed in the high one four mid to high 140s. So ProSoft coming in second place from a carry and distance. Pro VX, I really, uh, honestly, I thought the Pro VX today was going to perform better than it did. I'm really surprised at that. So the carry distance, 260, second place being 257 with uh, spin rates in the low 2000s. Launch angles rate about 14, a little bit on the high side. I'm carrying it, I'm hitting it four yards further with a Pro V1 overall distance versus the Vice Pro Soft. Pro VX coming in a fourth place, Vice Pro with the driver. So we have the second place in the driver, I would say, being the uh, Vice Pro, a little bit higher spin off the Pro Soft and uh, kind of some interesting data there. So we had Pro V1 win the wedge competition, Pro V1 and Vice Pro tie for the seven iron and Pro V1 a clear winner in the driver category. So that will be the ball that I'm gonna keep in play. I will do some further testing and that is the ball that I'm gonna continue to play with. So I hope that you got something out of this, but if you wanna try these golf, Vice golf balls, it's really cool. Their website is great, very flashy, very edgy company. They have a variety pack, which is what I got here. And they have a variety pack with all five of these golf balls in it. And um, go test it for yourself. So kudos to Vice in their golf balls. But as of this session and this testing, sorry, Pro V1 is the winner. And that's gonna ball, be the ball that I'm gonna continue to play. So hopefully uh, you have liked and subscribed on this video. Post your comments on what you liked in this analysis. Make sure you watch and hit the uh, bell on the notification so that you see all the videos that we come out for Golf Intel and all our product testing. Appreciate you watching this video. We will see you in the next one. Brian Z, out.